In North America, the American crow is a widespread and familiar bird, seen in our backyards, town parks, and just about everywhere else. Here are five fun and interesting facts about this fascinating corvid. Enjoy! It may be surprising to learn that crows, and indeed all other members of the corvid family, are songbirds. Yeah, their calls may be no match for a singer like the hermit thrush with its ethereal song, but being a songbird doesn't mean a bird has to be an impressive singer. All birds have what's called a syrinx, a highly specialized vocal organ. However, for songbirds, they are the only ones to have superior mastery of theirs. which is all possible due to the complex muscles that are attached to it, giving them much greater control. Crows can produce a whole range of different sounds. Some are even melodious. Crows know what they know and can analyze the contents of their mind. A well-known fact about them is that they are highly intelligent birds, capable of using tools, recognizing human faces, and even understanding physics. When it comes to intelligence, they've been lumped in with dolphins and apes, even dubbed as feathered apes, though some researchers believe that they may even rival apes for smarts. It has been found that when it comes to reasoning, they are on par with a seven-year-old child. Although birds have small brains, compared with other species, crows have unusually big brains and are equal to primates in brain-to-body proportion. A remarkable fact is that crows' brains have 1.5 billion neurons, as many as some monkey species, all crammed in there. A whole lot is working in their favor, allowing them the gift of intelligence. Thanks to brain size and all those neurons, crows have sharp memories and can remember a good or bad face for up to a half a decade or more. This great trait of theirs allows them to memorize the route of a garbage truck and specific colors of food containers for at least a year. Having the ability of a good memory comes in handy when caching food away, something these guys are very good at. A crow may move food items to other locations two or three times, all the while remembering where it was hidden. They can live very long. The average lifespan of the American crow is seven to eight years in the wild. That's just an average though. Young birds die at a higher rate than experienced adults. Many individuals live 10 to 15 years. I found on Cornell Lab of Ornithology that the oldest recorded wild American crow was 17 years and five months old when it was photographed in Washington state. Captive ones can live much longer as one in New York lived to be 59 years old. The crow was named Tata. The owners loved this bird, and the last owner reported to a newspaper, when you came around him, his energy was very beautiful. It was as if he were exuding or giving off loving energy. Kevin McGowan, an ornithologist at Cornell University, was noted as saying how incredibly old that is for a crow. Ones in the wild don't live that long. In the evening, you may notice dozens or hundreds of crows coming together. They are getting ready to rest for the night. Large communal roosts of hundreds and even thousands are made, usually in towns and cities. It wasn't always like that, though. Hundred years ago, they would roost just outside of cities. They may have changed where they sleep for several reasons. It is thought that cities and towns offer them protection and warmth. It is around 5 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit warmer in cities than the surrounding urban areas. So at night, when temperatures drop, they reap the benefits. Roosting together in large numbers provides them with safety, too. The more eyes on the lookout, the harder it would be for a hawk or owl to hunt them. In some places, it is legal to shoot crows. But in the city limits, it's not legal to fire weapons, 
so it seems crows have learned that it's safer to rest close to us. There is also more light, allowing them to see if any predators are coming. Should they need to flee, they can do so safely. Another and more interesting theory for why they roost together in such large numbers is to spread information about food supplies and dangers to avoid. After all, crows are known to talk to each other. I bet that they roost together for all the reasons I went over. There is no question, these dark beauties are smart. I've come to love crows a great deal, and I know many other people who feel the same. The crow may not be an exotic bird of the Amazon, but this common character always catches my gaze. And I believe they are one of the most fascinating birds on our planet. What do you think? Comment below and let me know the things you've seen or a story you'd like to share. And as always, thanks a bunch for watching. I hope you enjoyed these five fun facts about this big brain corvid. Take care. Happy birding.